Hi guys, welcome to uh, second press conference of the day for this fantastic uh, domestic dust up uh, between Anthony Arnold and Lyndon Arthur. Frank, I'm going to come to you first. Obviously, this is uh, the co main to uh, the heavyweight clash that you've put on between Ben and Bois and John Joyce. We were having a little bit of discussion before we started uh, the press conference about domestic dust ups. We've got an absolute cracker in the heavyweight division. And it doesn't get much better than this in the light heavyweight division, does it? No, we've got two of the top guys in the country, you know. One who's been on the world level stage and he's, he's 10 seconds away from being world champion, there's no doubt about that. But this is a, a brilliant fight. This is what British boxing is all about. This is what Queens are about in delivering the best domestic fight, delivering a public in a serious country. As you say, we've got a fantastic main event, some brilliant main event, some brilliant fights on the card. But this, this is yet another, another cracker. You know, uh, it doesn't get no better than this for boxing fans. Easy fight to make? Well, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fight fight. Well, well, let me tell you something. Is it an easy fight to make? It's, it's expectation levels and so forth. But at the end of the day, you've got... I always say that these type of fights, tell you about the fighters. You know, they step up to the plate, they've both got something to lose in as much as where they are in their careers. It's a very, very um, crucial stage for both of them. So the fact they've done that, like they have done in the main event, tells you a lot about, tells you about their confidence level, tells you about how they feel their places in the boxing pecking order. You know, Obviously, Anthony Jones is the best, and obviously, the good thing is he's, he's the bad guy. So, we will find out on the night. And we'll say what it's all about at the end of the day, and the fans getting to see from themselves who the best is. It's a cracking night, April 11th on the O2 Arena. That's when it all goes down. Let me I'll come to you first, if I may. Uh, last time out, first time that we went past six rounds. <laughs> another thing, another box to tick off. But the gas tank is there. Yeah, for me, that was, that was a box to tick off. Was it a half right? You know, I probably underestimated the man a little bit, but you know, it worked out, I suppose. Good for me because I, I, I understood that I can, you know, work on the side, that I can, I can get through 12 rounds and, and finish stronger in 12 round fight, so the, the, the going the distance is not problems. And Refreshing as well to obviously see you knocking people out for fun. That's I know the box that you ticked on yeah. previous occasions, but to also be able to do the distance that you can box and that you can outpoint, well yeah. outpoint your opponent. Yeah, it's an important thing. It was different to, 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 from the opponents that I've been facing to, to hit someone and, and, and someone get back up and come back at me and try and fight. I've never had that before in a fight. That was a box tick for myself as well. And, and, you know, these are the levels you have to go through in boxing to, to, to reach where you want to go. Pat, if I may come to you, how impressed have you been with your man since he moved over from being an an esteemed amateur now into the professional world. I think I've talked to the other day, but I'm impressed with him. I'm impressed with him. I'm, I'm very impressed with him. He's touched the court game really well. Um, as far as moving at the moment, it's not like a game. It's a good step up. And, you know, if we want to prove that we're going to do something, we need to be fighting. So, like a game, it's a really good position. Um, as far as moving at the moment, it's not like a game. It's a good step up. And, you know, if we want to prove that we're going to do something, Lyndon, what have you seen uh, in Anthony's game that you can expose on the other hand? Like, a great boxer, you know, he's, he's, he's got great power, but as have I, and, 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 and I just believe I'm the better boxer than him. Um, we, we've seen what he can do, we've seen what he did against Cowley, you know, Gallery performance, and, but, you know, I, I, I believe in myself, I believe in myself, and I, and I don't believe he'll beat me. Do you think he goes the distance? Probably not. Probably not, we both combined. Um, I believe if I learn this game over, I'm guessing he'll believe that's it, but you know, we'll have to see. When, when you say down the distance, you look at the fights, 34 fights, 29 knockouts between them. That tells you what you need to know, that's what's going to go down here. Bombs away, that's what it's going to be. Anthony, coming to you, if I may. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit of a low key comeback uh, in Madrid. Mm -hmm. Enjoyable? I'm very enjoyable. For me, it's um, a fight to fight at the end of the day. Um, it's one of the things, if an opportunity came about, I wouldn't have been able to have the opportunity to come up with a loss. So you need to get a fight and you're shooting orders as well. It wasn't a fight, I'm more in the way and watch this and come. Um, but it needed to happen. Um, this is a good fight now coming up for the fans. Um, so everybody will last. 
<laughs> Take a cup of tea. Um, get your tea, get your biscuits, and make sure you're watching this one. What are the learns from uh, from the Kovalev fight? Um, there's, there's loads, but again, that fight is behind me now. Just like all my other fights, all the other wins, everything, it's all behind me. All you can do is go forward. Um, look forward to the next task. Don't look past the next task. And um, make it happen. Tony, if I, if I can bring you in, I'll ask you the same question, actually, because you're the man uh, charged with training uh, Mr. Yard. What are the learns from that Kovalev fight? First of all, thank you for returning. Thank you, Bill Wise is done again. <coughs> Andy Levin, Adam, I saw the podcast. Fantastic job again. <laughs> alright, alright, you don't need to put to me up. Go on, go for it. Quick and is there as well. I see you, Queen. <laughs> no, um, everything is a learning experience. You know, um, you just have to follow the journey. You know, my, for myself and Anthony, we always focus on ourselves. And uh, enjoyed the journey from day one. I mean, if you look at our social media, you know what I have fun. And we just feel that, and as most people know, we just came up short based on the experience that night. Um, Kobe said it to us in the ring, Buddy McGurk said it to us in the changing rooms. It's just experience. Anthony's a great fighter. He shocked Buddy himself. He wasn't expecting that from Anthony. But it's something I've always known that Anthony's capable of. And, um, I know he's going to be a world champion on um, April 11th. Mr. Arthur knows he's going to be a world champion as well. So it's just, it's the journey. It's the journey. And Pat and Lyndon, they, they've come from the same place as we've come from. So we, the experience and the journeys is, are the same or similar. I just feel that we're a step, a step ahead. What does, what does Lyndon bring to the table? Fantastic young fighter. Very humble, very respectful. I never hear him say nothing like about us. And I, I, I've, you know, the, the few fights I've, I've watched of him, you know, listen, he, he's boxing, you don't just keep your hands to low. Well, I think he does actually. Um, but what can you say? He's, I think, 16 and all, 12, 12 KOs, if, I, if my memory serves me right. Um, and he came through, as he said, a, a very good fight against him. A good decent opponent. I know if Andy was in there, he would have done a job 100%. So I think Lennon was in the situation we were in Russia, which was the experience is going to show him that. Frank, if I can just bring you in regarding the light heavyweight division here in Great Britain, and on a world scale, it's unbelievable. But in Great Britain as well, it's some serious talent for that. Two of the very best at the top table here. The winner is. No, there's no doubt about that. Not only in this fight, the winner is like much stronger. Mandatory for the WBO title. This box up between four guys. Um, next one, whoever's, whoever wins this, they will be in the mandatory position. So it's important for them, as you say, there's a lot of good still, a lot of good fights to be made in this country. But the winner has got a lot to play for. It gets us some fantastic as well. And then is, that, is it easy to, to maybe put that to one side, that thought process that there is a nice character? Yeah, yeah, maybe. 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 To concentrate 100% on the art and you know what it brings to the table. So, for me to overlook him, to even think about a world title or anything like that, it would be stupid of me, a stupid fight. So, that's not what we do. We concentrate 100% on the April 11th. We've got to get that job done first before we look at anything. And so, same question to you. You've tasted the big time. Obviously, the character of that big time being one fight away must, must put a smile on your face. I did. Response one factor and stay focused. You don't, you don't look with, um, you don't look on the street looking at your phone, looking at your destination. You look at where you're going, otherwise, you fall around and wash your face. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're going and don't start looking about what things that like the next change. You know what I'm saying? Don't look too far ahead, focus on what's in front of you and get the job done. Uh, I hear what from the <laughs> It's not a carrot, it's a 24 carrot bag of carrots. That's what it is. The winner who gets that shot. This is important for both of them. It's a very important part of the rules. This is what it's all about. You know, we talk this, we show, seek, and destroy. That's what it is. Somebody's going to go out there and going to seek and destroy the other guy's ambition. That's what this show's about. These fights are great fights, and this is a 
This is an unbelievable crap of crap of buy these two guys and the, the winners. Every time we meet the fans and buy tickets to go, we sold over 12,500 tickets without now for the other guys yet. So there's only a couple of thousand tickets to sell there now. And if you can't be there, it's a DT Sport box office. So don't miss it. Should be an absolute cracking night. April the 11th at the O2 Arena. I'll let these guys know. Obviously, filter off and speak to you in your in your various networks that you represent. Everybody's available for those one on one. So make sure you take full advantage ahead of this. And don't forget, this isn't even the main event. The main event: Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce. Absolute cracker on April the 11th at the O2 Arena. Make sure you come and join us for it. Seek and destroy. 11th. <laughs> Be there. It's going to be a great, great night at the O2. Do not miss. It. Do not blink. These guys are wrecking machines and you're going to enjoy it, I promise you. Nice! <laughs> <laughs>